You've read about her in the newspaper and watched her on TV. And if you're very lucky, seen her out of bounds. But what do we really know about her? I mean, does she run the Daily Mile? And what's her favourite thing in Scotland? And most importantly, does she actually like Haddis and Iron Brew? About a year ago, I got to ask her all these questions. And now, you get to find out the answers too. And here's my latest interview with Nicola Sturgeon. We're here in the debating hall, waiting for the questions to start, but we unfortunately can't film it, so see you afterwards. Now that the MPs have asked the questions, it's our turn to ask the questions. Come and meet me close <laughs> What is politics? <laughs> well, politics is uh, the collection of decisions that decide how the country is run. So it's about who's in the government and who's in parliament and who makes the laws and who makes the big decisions. And parties stand for elections and have political debates about their policies. And I suppose politics is what comes out of all of that. What first? got you interested in politics and how old were you? Well I was about 15 or 16 when I was first interested and I suppose it came about because I was studying modern studies at school and it made me very interested in some of the things I was learning. Um, but I wanted, I wanted to change the world and make it a better place and that's what everybody who's involved in politics should really want to do. What is the best thing about being First Minister? I get to meet lots of interesting people uh, like you and, and lots of other people and that's the best bit because lots of people I meet as First Minister, if I wasn't First Minister I would probably never ever meet them. So you get to, to learn about different people and what matters to them and you get to see different places and, and find out about different people's lives and that's a really, really good thing to do. Who is the most famous person you have ever met and did you feel scared to meet them? Oh, probably the most famous person I've ever met is the Queen. And the first time I met her, I was quite nervous because she's a very famous person all over the world. And uh, I was a bit scared, but she was very, very nice. Who would you like to meet that you haven't yet met? Um, that's a good question. Um, there's lots and lots of people I would like to meet. Usually the people you like meeting best are people who are not really famous because they tend to be more interesting actually. But I recently met, um, and it was very exciting, I, I met Barack Obama um, just briefly. And although it was nice to meet him, I think I would quite like to have met his wife, uh, Michelle Obama, because uh, I think she's great. So probably um, I would choose to meet Michelle Obama. What's the worst thing about being first minister? Um, probably that you you don't get a lot of time to spend with your family. You don't get a lot of privacy. You know the, the media tend to follow everything you say and do, um, so that can be quite hard sometimes. And and it can be quite frustrating when you you want to do things but you can't do it for a particular reason or you maybe can't do it as quickly as you want to do. So that that's quite hard, but. Um, the good bits about being First Minister outweigh the bad bits. Mm -hmm. What was the last movie you went to see? You know, I haven't seen a movie for a long time um, and my husband keeps complaining about that because we don't get time to see the movies. I think the last one I saw was a, a, a movie called uh, Suffragettes uh, and the suffragettes were uh, the people who campaigned for women to get the vote and uh, I think a couple of years ago there was a, a movie made about them and that is possibly the last one I saw. If you could change one thing right now in Scotland, what would it be? I would uh, make sure that no child uh, 
lived in poverty, so that you know no child struggled uh, to have enough to eat or you know have the right things they needed for school. And we're working hard to try to make sure children don't live in poverty, uh, but it takes time. And so if I could wave a magic wand and make something right immediately, that's what it would be. You encourage people to do the daily mile. We do this at school. Do the people at the parliament run the daily mile? That's a very good question. And the, the, the honest answer is probably not everybody does it every day. Um, I don't do it every day, um, which I'm trying to, to make sure that I, I do better um, because I believe if I'm asking other people to do things, I should be prepared to do it myself. But sometimes just with my work, it's, it's difficult to fit in. Um, I took it up just before. Uh, a, a few weeks ago I, I decided I was going to take up running so um, I'm, I'm trying to get better at doing exercise. What do you do when you're not being the First Minister? Well technically you're never not the First Minister so even when I'm trying to get some time off I'm still the First Minister so if something happens I've got to respond to it but what I like doing when I've got some time off is my, my favourite thing to do is, is read. I, I love reading books. Um, and uh, that's what I would I would tend to do if I get the, the chance. And then spend time with my family. I don't get to see as much of my family as I would like. Who was your favourite author when you were eight? When I was eight, my favourite author was probably Enid Blyton, actually. I loved uh, all of Enid Blyton's books. The Famous Five were my favourite. Um, Secret Seven I liked. Uh, the books like Mallory Towers, which were adventures girls had at boarding schools. Um, and I, I always, just now it frustrates me a wee bit, some people say, well, you know, these are old-fashioned books and we shouldn't encourage young people to read them, but um, you know, think adult books like Jane Austen are, I suppose, old-fashioned, but we still encourage people to read them, so I would encourage people to, to read Jane Blyton. Yeah, sure, all the things that used to happen back then, to, you know, these things don't happen today, but they're still really good stories. What is your most favourite place in Scotland and why? Um, I think my, my favourite place in Scotland possibly is my own home because that's where I'm happiest. Um, but I love, in terms of going elsewhere in Scotland, I think probably my favourite place is the Isle of Skye. I love that because it's beautiful and, um, you know, I, I just love spending time there. So that probably, and it's quite difficult because there are so many beautiful places in Scotland. But if I had to choose one place, that would probably be it. Do you like haggis and lime brew? <laughs> I do. I like haggis a lot, actually. Um, and it's a good thing I like haggis because I have to go to a lot of burn suppers in January. So if I didn't like haggis, I would probably end up starving in January. Um, and I like iron brew too. Um, I try not to drink too much of it, um, but it's, it's lovely. And I like the fact that iron brew is, you know, I think, I don't know if you know this, Scotland is the only country in the world, I think, where Coca-Cola is not the most popular fizzy drink because it's iron brew. What did you want to be when you were eight? I wanted, well, I had two things I, I wanted to be. I, I always wanted to write books for children, um, which I've never done, uh, but maybe I will one day. And the, but I also wanted to be a lawyer, and uh, I actually did go to university and uh, qualified to be a lawyer, and I, I was a lawyer for a few years before I was in politics. What do you think is the most important thing for kids to learn? I, I mean, there's lots of important things children have got to learn, but increasingly I think the most important thing for children to learn is, is how to find out about things because the world's changing and you know, things that, facts and figures you might learn today might be completely different a few years from now. So, so finding out how to inquire about things and be curious and find the answers to things. And the one thing above all else I would encourage all children to do is, is read because you find out so much by reading. It's, it's good fun, you, you enjoy it I think, but you can experience lots of different places even if you never go there yourself, you can experience them through books. I read that you don't, I read that you don't like dogs, but what else scares you? Um, I'm scared of dogs, which is the main thing that I'm scared of, um, which I I don't really know why, because when I was eight, I wasn't really scared of dogs, so something's obviously happened to make me scared of dogs. Um, what else scares me? I, I, I don't think anything else particularly 
scares me. Obviously, anything happening to any of my family would would scare me a lot. Um, but I think it's important in life not to allow yourself to get scared by things. I mean, there's lots of you know bad things happen in the world, but you know most of the time we can find ways of, of dealing with them. And if, if you end up being scared of everything, you don't you won't do very much. So um, I'll, I'll try to get even over my fear of dogs. What was your favourite TV show when you were eight? When I was eight? Mm. You see, when I was eight, we didn't have as many TV channels as you do just now. So yeah, what would be my favourite when I was eight? I'm, I'm trying to think. I, there used to be a programme, which your parents will remember, um, called Grange Hill, uh, which was about a school. I'm not sure if I would have watched it as young as eight, um, but I, that used to be my favourite programme for a while. And then I always remember on Saturday mornings there was a programme called Swap Shop, which I always watched, which maybe I did when I was eight, so these were the kind of things. But when I was eight, I don't want to make myself sound boring because it's not boring. I much preferred reading my books and I, I did watch on the telly. What was your favourite thing to do at school? I liked uh, English, so I liked reading and, and writing stories was, was probably my favourite thing to do. What question have I not asked that you would like to answer? I think you have asked almost every question imaginable. Yeah, um, yeah you're a very good interviewer. So if you don't become First Minister, I think you should become a top journalist and get out politicians. <laughs> What's your favourite thing at school? Um, my most favourite thing is probably, I have three things. Break time, lunch time, and home time. <laughs> okay, but when you're actually in the classroom, do you have any? Do you have a favourite thing? Um, I probably really like reading and things. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favourite author? Um, not exactly. I have lots of favourite books. Okay, that's good. That's a good thing to have. Thank you for the interview. You're very welcome. Thank you for watching this Tom and Edinburgh production. Please like and subscribe.